Welcome back, uh, everybody. We are here to the, to the last talk of this uh, first session of the day of track one. In, I remind to you that if you have any question, any doubt about the talk, uh, to, don't wait until the end of the, of the talk, but also wh when you have the question, brought it in the pod that you can find on the website. And uh, inside, if you search for the, for the, for the talk, you have a, a link direct to the pod where you can put your question and also your comments if you have any comments. The presentation, uh, this presentation, this talk is carried by Luca De Lucchi, that is a, a GIS technician in the research center of Fondazione Edmund Munk, and is a very active member of the OSM community and uh, the phosphor the phosphor community in Italy. The talk will be focused on the on the work that is done in OSM by the, the Italian Alpine Club. Hi everybody. I'm Luca De Lucchi. I'm working at Fondazione Edmund Munk. Uh, institute in Trento that is working on agriculture, environment and food and uh, I'm going to present uh, a work that we are we are doing with uh, the Italian Alpine Club and the presentation is done with uh, Alfredo Gattai and Alessio Piccioli both of them are a member of the uh, hiking path committee of Kai, the Sozek. Let's see what is the Club Alpino Italiano. It's the oldest alpine uh, club in Italy. They manage different activities like dissemination, they uh, manage the hiking path, the alpine hut, and they uh, keep cleaned all the path, all the path and uh, they protecting uh, the alpine environment they are um, divided in, in several uh, chapters around the Italy and uh, and each chapter is managing the area around uh, them so they manage to clean the path and they organize event, they organize uh, exit in the mountain. So as I told before, the, uh, the Kai is managing the hiking path all over the Italy and they have, they are thousands of kilometers, probably more than 100,000 kilometers. So let's see how was the story between Kai and all. The first activity was in 2009 when uh, a, a group of OpenStreetMap contributors organized the first mapping party in the mountain. And uh, this activity was repeated for four or five years. Each summer there was a, a mapping party in the mountain and obviously we took contact with uh, the local chapter of Kai in the area of mountain uh, mapping party. In 2014, there was the first uh, hiking map done with uh, OpenStreetMap data. And the time was two. And uh, they was presented the, at the at a Kai festival. And there was uh, really interest about them. In 2016, there was the convention between uh, Kai and uh, uh, the Italian local chapter, Wikimedia Italia. So there was a, this convention was to improve the quality and the quantity of data in uh, OpenStreetMap and to make dissemination about this activity. A month later, there was the first version of the Kai plugin for JAWS. And the day after, the, was created a, a wiki page about Kai where we wrote the, the guideline to map a uh, hiking path, a uh, alpinat, and uh, all the information needed by Kai. In 2018, Kai uh, made a call for that implementation in Infomont and this was the start of the project that I'm going to speak. To speak. 
and also in the 2018 there was a, a special rendering for uh, Kai Akinpat that is visible in the GeoRescue mobile app. So let's see uh, how is the um, project, Kai Osm project. It started in 2018 and is uh, continue right until now. It has three main topics. One is the data insert. The second one is the development of some script. And the third one is the training. So let's see the first one. So to the data insert, the first step was data homogenization because the data was collected by uh, several CHI members around Italy, but they was provided in different format with different uh, accuracy. And uh, so we had to work to clean the data and to have a, a good start point to insert. When the data was um, was uh, corrected, we uh, start the data preparation for the entry. This was mainly to create a WMS service and the task manager to work within this uh, activity. And at the end, there was the data entry. Before data entry, there was a con uh, connection between me and the local chapter member to see if the data was updated and so on. The second activity was the develop of some scripts. And uh, I created some scripts co to convert the open stream of data in this different format. GIS format like GeoJSON, KML, but also some other format like uh, uh, documents to have a catalog of uh, the hiking path. We will see some uh, result later. Now we are in the code test. So we are testing the code to see that is doing the work properly. And uh, in the next month, we will go in production. So there will be some cron job that uh, are creating the data uh, every time, uh, probably every week or something like that. And the last one was the training. So we organized several uh, events to train Kai member to insert data in OpenStreetMap. So what we used during this project one of the Im most important tool is the wiki. So this is the wiki page about Kai, where you can find all the information, how to uh, insert a hacking path or a mountain hat. There are some uh, uh, link to other user useful tool. Uh, I'm sorry, it's only in Italian, but you can use some translator to to understand something more. For each region or for most of the region, we have a page like this with the catalog of uh, hiking path for, uh, for that region. And for each path, we save some uh, useful information like uh, the relation ID, the name, the code, and some uh, status information. So if it's, it is complete, if uh, it needs a guidepost or something like that. We have a documentation. It's only in Italian. And this was done by Alessio Piccioli during uh, these uh, training activities. And we have four level of uh, documentation from a general concept about uh, GPS and uh, OpenStreetMap to some really advanced activities that are 
useful only for few people and uh, not for all the member. We have a dedicated mailing list. It's the toolkit uh, Kai. Uh, it's uh, not uh, uh, high uh, traffic uh, mailing list, but it's useful for uh, new Kai members that want to insert data so they can ask and some other people that are already used they can answer to that dedicated uh, question it, it is mainly in italian but if you write something in english someone will uh, will answer you in english for of course as i told before we have a plugin for jaws and uh, this is really useful because uh, you have not to remember all the tag that you can use and uh, he give you a preset of uh, tags for each element that are useful for Kai member. So we use the task manager to make uh, the data entry. Uh, the task manager was uh, installed in uh, Wikimedia Italia server and for each region we created a task with a dedicated WMS service and uh, this was really useful because for each area we can uh, uh, see how is the completeness of the of that area so if it is complete we can skip to to add data now the task manager manager could be really useful if we are able to create a, a validate people that are going to validate the data uh, from the local uh, Kai chapter this could be really uh, amazing because uh, you don't need any kind of uh, open stream up uh, knowledge but just to see if an area is complete and the people from the chapter are the most uh, important person because they have the local knowledge. And uh, I developed a, a script or more script that are useful to extract data. As I told before, it is able to convert data from OpenStreamMap format to some GIS format, but is also able to create some beautiful documents like this where there are all the information about the the path and also a small map and it is able to work on a area or a region or also for example for a, a chi chapter so it is able to download only the data related to that chapter In the development, I developed also a website and uh, it used the script that I spoke before to give some uh, output. So you can see the, uh, the path, you can query the, the path or you can download all the path in a different format. And it is also able to send some alert when some data are uh, modified in OpenStreamMap. Uh, it can send an uh, email or uh, uh, a message on Telegram. We are now testing the website. There are some problems still, but uh, it should go online by the end of the summer or the first month of the next uh, fall. So what is the situation in Italy? Right now we have uh, around uh, 40,000 kilometers of data. You can see that in 2017 there was a really few kilometers. Uh, in 2017 and 2018 there was two big steps. And, and after the, there was a linear increase. And the, the last two bar in the right are uh, by 14 days different only 
instead of one year or six months. But you can see that there are some small improvement every every week. This instead is the regional trend. Most of the uh, region has some improvement from 2017 to now, but there are some regions that uh, they have really few data still. The most problematic probably is the Val d'Aosta because it's, uh, yes, it's a small region, but it's completely in the mountain. So it is, it has for sure more than 25 kilometers of path, but they are not uh, mapped correctly or according to the CHI guidelines. So we have to work a lot of on that region. Other regions instead like uh, Trentino Alto Adige, Emilia Romagna, uh, Toscana are uh, close to be full and they don't need the, they need only revision when some patterns change it. What tool we can use or what are the output from OpenStreetMap data to, to see this uh, hiking path data in, uh, in the web or in some printed map? So this is the most used website is a Waymarket Trail, the hiking version. And uh, you can uh, see the path, you can query. It's uh, really amazing. And uh, I know that a lot of Kai member is using it to see the, the data and to see the, their work on OpenStreetMap. Another beautiful uh, website is a map refuge. From my point of view, it has a really beautiful rendering. It's clear and you can easily see the, the path. This is an Italian product done by WebMap. That is an Italian company working with OpenStreetMap data. It, it is specialized in uh, mountain mapping and uh, this is the version, this map has two versions, the web one and the uh, printed one. So uh, it is a really beautiful style from my point of view. This is another paper map realized for a chapter of Kai and it used only open data, open stream map and for the uh, in shade and uh, contour line, it used the open data provided by the region around that area. This is another website providing uh, data on, for Garmin, Garmin, for Garmin format. And uh, you can find also a, a data for uh, hikers where there are contour line and it they are uh, highlight the hiking path to the relation in OpenStreetMap. It is only in Italian, but you can understand or use some uh, translator tool. Another well-known website is the MTB and the hiking maps. It provide a beautiful map for Garmin for all over the world. So you can use it and I know, I know that several Kai members use it to have the data on, uh, on their Garmin. For uh, mobile, you, if you are in Italy, you can use GeoRescue. As I told before, it has a, a dedicated rendering showing the Kai path and uh, the only problem of, with the georescue is that uh, you have to pay to get the application instead for Kai member it's this for free because they make a, a convention between Kai and the product the producer of the application otherwise you can use uh, osment that is probably the most used 
uh, web uh, mobile app and it has uh, a hiking rendering tool and you can see the the output of that rendering in the image so for future we have to go out and collect data because uh, as we saw before several regions has a low number of kilometers of path we need to realize events with the Kai chapter to inform them about these activities to get uh, feedback and to try to create a local group of people able to insert data but especially to review the existing data and the last goal is to create a group of Kai member able to keep the data up to date so to have uh, someone that uh, are uh, are really used to work with OpenStreetMap they know all the uh, different uh, problem or different uh, uh, tricks thanks to everyone now should be the time of question one now should be the time of question one thank you very much uh, luca for your interesting presentation about situation of uh, the hiking in in italy and uh, the work done with kai so we have uh, some some questions that are regarding uh, i i have just a previous question i lost more or less the slide where you are showing the percentage of the of the use of the, the mapping in the different area of Italy. Do we have a brief conclusion? Do you think that there is something that can be done in particular to 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 reach different the different level in the different parts of Italy? We have some technical issue. You enter with another account, Luca. Okay. We Lorenzo, can sorry, I... Okay. Okay, you can hear me? Because the yes. Chromium crashed when you was starting the question. So I didn't uh, listen to anything. Sorry. Okay. My question was just a general question about the, the, the state of the art now, which, how many are the... the the, the, the path that are already inside OpenStreetMap, how many are not present. You say that the, key spot, the solution is to involve the, the community of Kai. Do, do you think there is something organized, something that is happening in the next month? So the, so, uh, due to the COVID situation, there was uh, really few activities. All the exit for Kai was blocked. So probably there are not uh, many advanced uh, activities and uh, we are uh, now working to, to restart all the, the events and the courses because uh, until uh, two weeks ago, it was not possible to do more or less anything here. So sure. it was uh, everything stopped. Yeah, sure. It, it's happening in lots of the part of the world. We have now more yeah. technical question, especially okay. regarding the routing for hikers. Is there a dedicated routing for hikers in Italy or someone else? You say something uh, in your presentation, maybe the question was done before. Maybe you can say which are the, the, the one that you recommend for, for the use and they, they are request. There are uh, recommended texts to be to help hiking routing compared to the normal routing. So, uh, about uh, what uh, tool there is, for for example, Infomont, it has a routing inside. So, the official Kai application has some routing that is using the uh, OpenStreetMap data. You can use uh, Osmond uh, and uh, it uh, create the route using the normal tag. And there are no specific tags for hiking routing. 
So you can use the normal tag and after the router should be done for hikers. You cannot uh, modify the data to uh, improve the router, but the router should be improved with the data of OpenStreamUp. You should use a, a dedicated routing for this action. Yeah. Okay, if yeah. you want, you have the, the webcam uh, disabled if you would like to attach to... Uh, uh, yeah, but if I touch it, uh, probably I, I have right. some problem with connection. Okay, okay. Sorry. No, no problem. Uh, there is a question about the, the maintenance, because they say, does a, rela a relation type equal root are periodically broken? I will do detect if broken uh, root. Yeah, so this is... Uh, a well-known problem. We are using the router analyzer to check uh, a little bit that the, the relation is still correct. And this is the next step for future. We have to think how to maintain all the relation because we are speaking about uh, several thousand of relation and it's quite difficult. But uh, as I told in the presentation, our plan is to have a, a good base of uh, Kai volunteering that are uh, managing the, the check of root and the relation to. The, the, the idea is to have people that are focusing on this aspect and yeah, check yeah. their area of interest. Yeah, they are uh, using some tool. Rikers. Sorry? Okay. Is is it dangerous delay between my speak and when you when you're listening? I'm trying to to make the question now. It is dangerous for hikers when when they are hiking paths that are incorporated wrong or even not updated in the specific area. How you do you do? How do you deal with this? Okay, so this question was done uh, for, from uh, some uh, guy in 2007 or 2008. And uh, my answer is more or less the same. So if you go out, you have to look in front of you and not on the map. Because uh, a lot of people using, is using map from uh, 80s still. And the data are completely broken. So I think that the first stuff is to use your brain and check if the data are uh, re respecting or are still uh, useful or not. Obviously, it's a little bit more dangerous than uh, with the car, but it's the same problem. If you if you drive a, a truck and you just look the the map, and you don't look the signal, you can arrive in a point that you cannot go go on. So. For my point of view, the first stuff is uh, use uh, the brain when you go out. And after, uh, yeah, of course, the, an uh, updated map is uh, really useful and uh, it makes differences. But uh, you can, okay, until now, you we survive without any uh, mobile application. We have a, a paper uh, with a really uh, low resolution and... Uh, there was no problem. Now the stuff are a little bit better. Obviously, data not, not updated are not good, and uh, we are trying to update more data as possible. Oh. About this topic, there is a question that is uh, requesting. Uh, there are, are any other hiking clubs interested in this great work in Italy? I think that. Uh, sorry, there are some. There are some other cycling clubs, but I think that mostly are inside the, the, the Kai one, since it's the most the, the biggest one and the national one. Yeah, there are some other uh, uh, association like uh, FIE, that is the uh, Italian Federation for uh, Hiking. Uh, but uh, I don't know if they are working on uh, this topic too. Uh, I know that. Uh, there was some uh, work uh, near Genova, Genoa, and uh, but uh, I have no clear idea about other uh, other association. I, I also know there are uh, another association that is uh, uh, slow walking. Yeah, the translation is something like that. 
and they are using OpenStreetMap too for their route. So the stuff are moving because uh, uh, OpenStreetMap has the capability to be modified by everyone. And uh, there are a lot of data of uh, path and, uh, and it's a good uh, situation for Iker to use OpenStreetMap instead of Google or other providers that are more focused on, uh, on car and uh, yeah, on car may, mainly. Okay. There is a question that re requests, uh, how, many, how many people, how many mappers are mapping for, for the project? Uh, I have really no idea. I know that there are maybe 100 people because I knew at least 50 or something like that, according to the, the courses that we did uh, and uh, other people that are working already in uh, hiking path. But uh, I have no clear idea, for example, for the south of Italy. I know that there are some uh, group of uh, people that are uh, adding data related to hiking path. Uh, there, are, there is a big community about people uh, uh, with mountain bike and uh, they are also improving uh, so hiking path and so on. I have no idea okay. about the number. So there is a, a more technical question. Are you using GPS with RTK to better map uh, the path in the mountains? Uh, I'm using uh, uh, Garmin GPS. Uh, I didn't use the, still the some uh, RTK to improve the, the data, also because uh, my mobile is not supporting uh, still the uh, real-time uh, correction or also post-processing correction. But uh, yeah, this could really be useful because uh, in the mountain, there are a lot of noise due to the, the trees and, and also the, um, the mountain, the shape of the mountain, they make a lot of noise. So this could be really useful to improve the data. But at the other time, if we are wrong of not many meters, it's not a big problem because there are no many paths in the mountain. So if we have an error about 10 meters, could be not a big problem. Obviously, if the, there is a one meter pro error, it's better than 10 meter. But uh, right now, I think that 10 meter could be a good resolution for uh, hiking path. OK, thanks very much. I I'm, I'm, I'm agree with you. I think that there are not so much path inside the, the, the and only, there are not so much path inside the mountain. So there is, it's hard to, to choose the wrong one. If, if also if it's wrong by five meter, you have just this one on in, on the mountain. You don't have ten of them in which you have to choose or which one you have to take. So there is just few comments. Thank you yes. for uh, for the work and the talk. I would just like to ask you as the last question: Do you think that this work could be done in some other part of the world? If there are some other community of uh, uh, hiking that are interesting in, in the in importing their data inside OpenStreetMap? Do you think that is something that can be redone and repeated in some other part of the world? Yeah, I think yes, because it's not uh, a really specific stuff. We have just collected the data from uh, all the Kai chapter and uh, asked them to provide more information as possible, maybe some pictures sometime also. So yeah, it's possible able to replicate and uh, I'm really happy if someone else want to replicate uh, to help them and uh, it's just uh, not the import because uh, we didn't import any data it's too complicated to import this kind of data and but we we map or I map the data that the Kai provide me and uh, yeah as I so I show in the presentation uh, we use some uh, some tool, the tasking manager, to provide some uh, uh, helping tool for other people. And we can share our uh, workflow. And yes, for sure, it's possible to replicate. And I think that uh, OpenStreetMap is really a good platform for this kind of data. OK. Thank you very much, Luca. Grazie per, for your presentation.
So this is the end of this talk. See you in the, in okay. the next uh, session. Okay, Bye. thank you very much.